problem is daily life is a constant struggle. We live in a generation where our goals are to have what other people have. We are prodded and poked to be individual. Yet our environment contradicts this. The pressure is too great to be just like your successful mate. Which confuses you. How can I be myself, ourselves, when we need to be like someone else? For experience of mental health myself, I feel that if you look okay or you dress okay, then everything's okay, but deep down inside you're actually dying. People are taking their own lives because they're not coping in their minds and there isn't the right help about. The problem is that I spent a year in Hal's waiting room, wasting my time waiting for someone to tell me to be realistic with my job goals, that they had no idea how to help me get a job in the outfield, and that it was their job to get me into work, whatever that might be. I wasted a year in that place to end up in a minimum wage job in a retail store. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I owe student loans £40,000 pursuing my dream with three years of university behind me, and I wouldn't trade that for anything, well, maybe the 40000 debt. I never fight like my own boss. Me and I can't make my own choices. People just hold on to their past and they're not looking forward and can't see the person I am today. It hurts the fact that no one sees that. The only time they need me is when they want my help. So I ask you this, how can I help you when I can't even help myself? We need to stop being bombarded with propaganda that's leaving us so guarded. Drop this facade of stereotypical views of each other. It is possible to live in a world without hatred and where envy is non-existent. Live in a space of love, not out of fear from everything you hear. On the other hand, if you can see the problems, for example, broken leg or back problems, they get the extra help because it's known how to cope with the problem. I feel that having more resources about mental health, the general public could have a better understanding on how to help people deal with it in a better way. The solution? Trust us. Support us. We go to university to fulfil our dreams and make the world even more amazing. We have the tools and knowledge and trust me, we're trying, but all hope dies in Hell's waiting room. But I can't let that get to me. I can only be me. And I just want you to accept that I learned from my mistakes. I'm going to hold my head high and go and get me a good future. I believe in a second chance, so you should too. Living in this space may feel distant, but I promise you that it isn't. If you feel, if you feel that you're not getting the reaction that you need, always keep pushing at your doctors and just keep asking for the help. That out, out there and you will get there in the end. Never give up. If my reality right now was my dream job, I would be pouring my heart and mind onto the pages of my art and encourage others to do the same. I know there are people out there who feel the same way. They're the ones who inspire me every day. To give something back to that community and find someone who looks at my work and says, yes, this is what I needed, that would be amazing. If I get a second chance, I would hold on to it and not let it go. I'm going to do what I'm doing now and aim to get a decent future for myself.